surprisingly, there haven't been much Dolphin fans that are upset about the earnings of the contract. I mean, you know, I, I, I think I think this is a fair deal overall. I don't think this is a crazy deal by the Dolphins whatsoever. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of the it's the market value. Yeah. I, I, I don't find that much of, of Greer's contracts are like really bad for the team. They're usually him and Brandon Shore end up like having contracts that they can make wake, work their way out of it and everything. And, and they get windows so they can move out of it. So now nah, it's, it's, it's usually done very smart, man. You know, even though we got people that still bash Chris Greer, which I, again, I don't understand that one, man. Uh, Ragin says, so they are still moving on from Tyreek next year. Yeah, nothing's changed, dude. Nothing's changed. Brother, They, I already told you guys, the second they didn't get any money from him, that was the writing on the wall. It was over already. He's done. They're getting off that gravy train. They can't. It's too much. It's too much. They're not doing it. They, they, they can't go the way of X. And keep hanging on till he gets old, and your the baggage stays there, and so you you know, I'm pretty I'm a thousand percent sure that Tyreek Hill is gone at the end of the season. Okay, absolutely done at the end of the year. Remember, people, Tyreek Hill and Armstead are not going to be here in the future. That's a lot of money off the books. Eventually, when you draft and make good free agent signings, Miami will be fine. Exactly. You are on top of a true fin fan. You're you're getting uh, out of Armstead's contract. You're getting out of Tyreek's contract next year, and you will draft a first round receiver next year. So that way, you will then bring somebody opposite of Waddle, and then you'll have the other guys. And remember what I told you was that last week I said that Odell Beckham is basically on a one year tryout for a second year. Because you have him on a one-year contract. If he goes and plays well, you go draft a rookie. You have Waddle as your guy and John U. Smith. And what you do is you use Odell as like a, 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 a half a two to share with the first-round pick. You get my drift? So that's what – because if Odell can stay healthy and play well in this offense and he gels well with Tua – they won't have to give him a boatload of money. They won't have to give him a long-term contract. They only have to give him another one-year contract. That's very manageable. And then Tyreek's deal and Armstead's deal is out of the books. So that's a lot of money that comes off the books there. So now all of a sudden, you've got more than enough money to continue. And the cap will go up because it goes up every year. You know, And guess what's coming? An 18th game, a 20-week season which is going to generate more revenue, which means what? The cap will go up even more. So, you know, it's just all these kind of things. You got to look at, you know, I look at money for investments and I look at money and I look at it for our, our sports. You know what I mean? It's, it's just kind of, you got to understand the business of everything, you know, because there's a, there's a business to everything. And that and business decisions are made. And that's why we told you a few years back that they would make a business decision on Byron Jones. And then the following year, they would make a business decision on X. You know what I mean? And that and Wilkins was a business decision. They were no way we're paying you that kind of money. You're not that kind of pass rusher. Business decision. It goes that way. You have to understand the game. So you can understand what they're actually doing. And that's why a lot of people, especially some of the beat writers, were, oh, no, they're going to tag Wilkins. No, no, they'll extend him. Almost every beat writer said that. Most of the beat writers did not have a good feel for what's going on. And anybody that tells you they're extending Tyreek or they're keeping Tyreek long term or whatever, they also don't have a good feel for what's going on. They don't understand the business of the game where the baggage outweighs the money and you get to a point where you have to move on. And the baggage could be bad. It could be injury. It could be whatever it is. 
you're not playing nearly as well. Whatever the baggage is, once it outweighs the talent, they move on. And that's what's going on. Okay? So, you know, these are things that you got to understand. And to me, the Waddle contract tells me the Tua deal is pretty much done. The Tua deal will be announced shortly here in June. That's what that tells me. The Waddle deal tells me the Tua deal is done. That's what it tells me. That's how I'm going to read into it, and we'll find out now. After this money comes in on uh, on June 1st, we'll see how fast they announce the Tua deal. And if they do, then that tells you they had the Tua deal done, and that's why they were able to work out the Waddle deal like they have. This is the big O Show.